Assalamu alaikum. Good morning everyone. How are you today my little explorers? It's science class and today we have a new lesson. So I want you to be ready and also to be focused. So before starting our lesson I want you to get your science book because we are going to use it. Grab some pencils and let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is to read the day and date. So everyone, it's weekend time and today is Thursday. So what is the day? The day is Thursday. And the date? May 14, 2020. Well then. So everyone, here is a picture and I want you to tell me what do you see in the picture? I can see a river. Yeah. What else? And I can see rocks. Rocks. So the river or the water is passing. Yeah. Through the rocks. Well or done. Mud. Okay, good. Okay, and here is the title of the lesson. And if we are going to read the title of the lesson together, maybe it will be the first time for you to hear this word. But don't worry, we are going to learn about it today so let's read the erosion type. erosion okay so what does this mean everyone mm, sounds weird right can you see the can you can you read the title again erosion we're gonna learn about erosion today and here we go let's read our objectives together i, I want need to help you okay so let's read them by the end of this lesson we can recognize what erosion is and how it happens also we can define erosion so put this word in your mind can you say it again erosion well done so everyone here are two videos about the lesson of today i want you to watch the videos and come back and we're going to talk about the lesson or the new lesson that we will start today okay now i want you everyone to get your science book and open page 18 uh, open page 18 and please don't forget to write the day and date i want you to look at the picture over here and to tell me what do you see i can see a boy building a stand castle also water and wind can change the shape of this mountain or the sand in the picture so let's read the question over here what happened to your sand mountain when you blew on it erosion erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place sometimes you can see erosion taking place moving brown water tells you erosion is happening the water is brown because it's carrying soil. Erosion can make it hard for plants to grow. Okay, so everyone, I want you to keep this in your mind. So, I want you everyone also to highlight these words over here because they are very important. So, let's talk about erosion and what does erosion mean? Erosion is when the w yeah it's when the wind or water is very strong for for example the sandstorm it takes the sand and puts it in a new place or like in the river the river takes the rocks and carries it to a new place so we can say everyone that the wind and the water sometimes are very strong. For example, the wind can carry the sand and take it from place to place. And also the river or the water can carry the rocks and move it to a new place. So everyone, have you ever have you ever seen brown water before? So brown water tells you erosion is happening. The water is brown because it's carrying soil okay so everyone remember the water 
can carry soil or rocks from place to place and also the wind can do the same. Okay, turn the page and go to page 18 everyone. So as I said to you so far, the water is brown and flowing. It carries soil away from the land. Okay, and now let's move to page 19. Please everyone, don't forget to write the day and date. I want you to look at these pictures. I'm going to give you some time and tell me what do you see. What do you see over here everyone? I can see ice and glaciers. Okay, so let's read what's written over here together. Frozen water can also cause erosion. A glacier is a large sheet of ice that moves slowly across the land. A glacier moves when a bit of the ice melts. Glacier picks up and breaks parts apart pieces of rock as it moves. Across the land, this kind of erosion happens over many years. Thank you for reading. So, everyone, what do we call these large sheets of ice? They are called glaciers. Okay, so everyone, I want you to highlight this word, the word glaciers. glaciers. Okay, so highlight the word. So, it means a large sheet of ice that moves slowly across the land. And when I say slowly, you know what will come to your to my mind? Do you remember in the previous lessons we talked about slow and fast changes? So now we're talking about slow changes that happens in the earth surface. Okay? So let's read what's written over here. Glacier is a large sheet of ice that moves slowly across the land. A glacier moves when a bit of the ice melts. So, can you explain to us here what's happening here? So, let's say uh, the rock is in a river. So, in this rock there is holes because the water is doing weathering to this rock. So it makes holes, then the water enters inside those holes and then when it becomes when it becomes cold it freezes. The water freezes inside the rock. And if and do you know that when you put water in the freezer the water will become much bigger? So that's what happens. So the ice becomes bigger and it bakes the rock apart. Wow, that's so cool. So you mean the water can enter in the rock and then it will be freezed, right? After that, uh, the water will become uh, more bigger. bigger and then it will break the rock. Excellent. Thank you for this. Thank you so much. So look at these pictures and you are going to understand more. So look at the water, the water will enter or will be in the rock, okay, because of the weathering. And then, see, the water will break the rock into two pieces. Now move to page 19, everyone, and please write the day and date. Look at the photo of the river above. How is this? Erosion different from the soil erosion shown on the previous photo. So let's read the answer here. It took many years for the river to carry away bits of the land on each side. The erosion on the field in the previous photo happened quickly. So this is the photo we are talking about everyone. Do you see the river? The river is in between. Okay. The mountains. Okay, between in between the mountains, and can you see how the river can path paths? Yeah, through the through the mountains. What they mean in the question? They're saying, look at the photo of the river above. Above, I mean, sorry. How is this erosion different from the soil erosion shown on the previous 
previous photo. They mean it took many years for the river to carry bits of the land. Like it, they're trying to say to us, the river took bits of the land, but it took it many years. So everyone, even the river can carry the rocks or the sand from place to place, but sometimes it takes many years for the river to carry away these beds, sorry, of land or of rocks, let's say, and also soil or sand. So let's read what, what's written over here. Review. Erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and, and soil to a new place. So this is very important everyone. This is very important. Here the definition of erosion. As you can see, here is the definition. definition. Yeah. So erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. So let's say that this is the river everyone. Okay. And the river keeps moving right and sometimes the river will move okay okay these rocks from place to place do you see these rocks the river will carry them from place to place so task time everyone let's go to task number one Arrange the following words to make the definition of erosion. So, erosion happens when, okay, let's write it together, when, wind or water, when wind or water carries Okay. Rocks and soil Yes To a new place Thank you. So let's read it one more time. Erosion happens when wind or water carries rocks and soil to a new place. Thank you.